so in this video we will see how we can create a custom button component in our last video we saw that how you can create a custom switch component so in this video we will create a normal button but we will provide styling to it and we will create as a separate file so we can reuse it multiple times so open visual studio code and open it on uh, open our react native project and i have already opened iOS simulator as if you are using windows machine you can use ender simulator so first of all for creating a new button component we need to create a new file we will name it custom button dot js okay so first of all in app dot js we will be creating a text input in which user will enter their name and by clicking the button we will simply display it on the console so for that we need to create a state let's say name set name by default it will be an empty string input placeholder name on change text will be storing the text whichever is your input to set name okay so here now we create a new custom button first of all we need to import react then we need to import view text and touchable opacity we need to import style home styles okay so export default function the name of the function will be custom same as the file touchable opacity okay we create a view and a text this text will be the name of the button and we, we passing that through the props so the name will be props dot name okay so here for view we will create a style let's say styles dot button for the text we will be creating style called 
styles dot text let's say now we need to create those styling first of all button okay so first of all we need to assign background color let's say yellow then we apply padding let's say of 15 we align items so that the text will be in center width of this button let's say 50 percent self align will also be center we need this button to be at the center let us also provide the border width let's say 5 the border color green background color yellow padding 15 with 50% border with 5 and border color green now let me create style for text first of all font size will be 20 color will be let's say blue then font weight bold okay let me just save it okay looks fine okay so on touchable opacity on press press we will be passing the function let's say click so in add.js let me just provide style for the text input okay so here user will enter the name so in order to create this uh, use this custom button we need to first of all import custom button from custom button now we can use this custom button first of all the name the name uh, uh, props will be name so let's name it let's name it push and the function will be click props so for that we need to create a function let's say uh, click me console.log name okay so in app.js click will be click me now let me just save it and here if i let me just toggle the software keyboard here if i write my name And I press on push 
and as you can see it appears on the console let's say Tony so this is how you can create a custom button component and use it multiple times if if I want to use second time I can use it and let me name it pull this time as you can see it it works the same because I have we are passing the same functions over here in styles in button we can also provide margin top okay so these are basically you can create a custom component it's just not about the button you can get as many as you want and we do not need to uh, styles again and again and provide this function uh, provide these values again and again we can simply create a new file and create a custom component and pass and through passing the props we can reuse it multiple times so thanks for watching it